up for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who you first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 208 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, International. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, Four losses and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl. fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent up. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Straight right hand now, just misses. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked.
Trying to find a home for that right hand. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Good punch land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and there's a... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. advantage off the top of the show certainly paid dividends for him there big kick land misses with the left hook look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick well he's got the reach advantage you might as well use it nice job there to find a home for that jet Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big kick land. 20 seconds left. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! Round two straight ahead. A lot, a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes, DC, and big part of the narrative, those knee strikes. Those knee strikes landed, and they landed and did a ton of damage. You can see his opponent slowing down because he's taking so many of those knee strikes to the body. center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the jet. Look at the turnover in that kick. Big leg kick land. He 
getting loaded up on that right hand, too. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Throws the right hand there. Misses with a left hook there. Nice loop and punch. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, big left hook there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Try to establish that jab. Nice try. Oh, combination of lands, and it seemed like almost every strike. It looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he kicks. Oh. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Again, employing the knee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice punch lands over the top. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You're looking too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking the finish now because he's got it hurt very bad. Look at him drive his shin with that body kick. You got to whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Pretty good right hands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice body kick. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Oh! Another knockdown! Let's get back out here and work on that Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. He cut you open good. The ref wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, 
and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Ready, fight. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Ooh, big shot land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. That kick blocked by Choi. Lands the right hand. Delivered on. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There's no Judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Leg kick. Right hook to the head blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh! Huge right hand! 13 steps in! He's done! He's done! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number three. Join the winner of 